If you need to calculate time elapsed between a start time and an end time, you can use a simple formula that subtracts the start time from the end time. In Excel, one day, 24 hours is represented by the number 1. So, 1 hour is 1 by 24, 8 hours is 1 third of a day, 12 hours is half day. In short, you can think of hours as fractional value of a day. When the start time and end times are both in the same day, then the start time is less than the end time and you can use a simple subtraction to calculate elapsed time. For example, with start time of 9.30 am and an end time of 5.30 pm, you can simply use the formula B2 minus A2. As times are represented by fractional parts of decimal numbers, we get the result as decimal number. You can apply the custom time formatting. To apply the custom time format, open the format cells dialog box, select the custom from the category list and type the time codes in the type box. H only hours is displayed, H colon mm hours and minutes, H colon mm colon ss hours, minutes and seconds. You can use the text function to calculate the elapsed time. Calculate elapsed time in hours. Use this formula. For hours and minutes, use this formula. For hours, minutes and seconds, use this formula. The value returned by the text function is always text. Notice the left alignment of text values. This might be a significant limitation because you won't be able to use the returned text times in other calculations. Calculating elapsed time between two times that cross midnight is a little complex. This is because times that cross midnight often have a start time that is later than the end time. If the start time is 11.30 pm and the end time is 3.30 am, the next day, the end time is less than the start time. The formula will return a negative value which will cause Excel to display a string of pound or hash characters. To correct this problem, you can use this formula for times that cross a day boundary. By subtracting the start time from 1, you get the amount of time in the first day which you can simply add to the amount of time in the second day which is the same as the end time. This formula won't work for times in the same day. So we can generalize and combine both formulas inside an if statement. Now when both times are in the same day, end time is greater than start time, so the simple formula is used. But when the times are across a day boundary, the second formula is used. You can also use the mod function. The mod function takes care of the negative value by flipping negative value to the required positive value. In column C, we have the formula we use to find elapsed time when end time is less than start time. In column E, we are using the simple formula B2 minus A2 which gives us negative values. In column D, we are using the mod formula to which pass b2 minus a2 as the number and 1 as the divisor. Mod x comma y is nothing but x minus integer x divided by y star 1. So mod of point minus 0 0.83 comma 1 is minus 0 0.83 minus integer of 0 0.83 by 1 star 1. Since integer of minus 0 0.83 is minus 1, and minus of minus 1 star 1 is 1. We get minus 0.83 plus 1 which is equal to positive value 0 0.17. When those values are formatted as hours and minutes, they return the elapsed time in hours and minutes. To download example Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.